Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Coming to you again with a new recipe. Uh, quick breakfast this morning. Um, happy Sunday, first of all, guys. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Um, yeah, we're going to cook some food, some grub up in here this morning. And uh, show you guys a couple of recipes. You know, trying to do something different here. You know, and uh, my favorite thing that I like to do is cook in the morning. When I want to, I'm not so lazy. So, but this morning, um, we're going to make an old country style meal. You know, make it feel good when you go to church, warm and hearty. Especially if you uh, experience this North Star weather. Something to put some food in your tummy and make you feel happy and warm all day. Down here in the South, we call it a little bit of soul food. Soul food. So, the first thing I'm going to do is get my eggs. For two, so I'm gonna get yeah, four eggs here. Maybe the dog may want to eat some, you know. Um, today, uh, here we have temperatures, it's probably about 49 degrees, guys. It's cold, it really is. I know you guys like 49 degrees, that's not cold, but when your body's been used to seeing 80 degree temperature for the you know seven days in a row. You know, your body has to climatize. It takes about 24 hours before the body gets adjusted, you know, to the temperature that you're currently in. And, you know, after drastic changes with the weather, you know, basically in a nutshell, it's cold. The body's not used to it because if you're here with me, it's been hot. And now we've got this cool weather and it's great. I'm not complaining, guys, but I'm just saying... In spite of, we got to thank God for whatever he brings because, you know, the good book says uh, God going to have his way. So you might as well just be happy and enjoy the day. Sit back, watch football, go to church, do what makes you feel great. But me and mine, we're going to get our breakfast because breakfast is the number one thing that you should always do. Don't skip any, any, any meal. Don't skip breakfast. And so as you see, I'm putting my four eggs in there. And then the next thing I'm going to do is get me some low cal. I can't believe it's not butter. And then I'm going to just go ahead and cut up, you know, you can use any kind of butter. Some people use mayonnaise, some people like olive oil, you know, whatever. I'm going to put these in four different pieces because I'm going to some pancakes this morning, you know. I really am. And guys, I know you're saying she could have took the wrapper off, but the reason why I don't is because these are frozen. And I like to see exactly how many I'm putting in there, so. And they're easy to come off. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it on simmer. Because that gave me a little time to cut up my onions. Now, guys, you don't have to put onions in it, but I'm going to do something very spicy and dicey here. And we call it the pole man's meal. <laughs> pole man's meal means one of two things. Because either you have the kind of meat you want or you're on a budget. But me, I remember making this when I was in the home. When we go overseas and places like that, and you know, you put your favorite meat in your eggs, and that's how you survive, you know, in a situation where you like, let's say I'm in Turkey and I don't eat Turkish burgers. So, we call it hoagie bake. You bring your own stuff, the meat that you like. And mine is, guys, have always been the good old hot dog. Really, I love hot dogs. Because hot dogs can make a meal out of anything, honey. So, while that's going on, I'm going to go ahead and chop them up here. Now, as you know, I know you say, oh gosh, she ain't got that butter out of there, but see, there's a reason for that. Yeah, so, very good reason. I'm going to use two cut hot dogs. I'm going to cut them up, you know, medium slices, small is when you want it. But me, I like mine kind of small. And you guys can see we're in the kitchen. You got to run around China. She loves it when I cook. Now, guys, if you are not a pro like me, don't do what I'm doing. You do it your way. But me, I like to take mine. Right there, and make sure that they're cut up into little pieces. 
put it all in the butter, let it saute for about, I don't know, it depends up to you. I like mine, just let mine get, you know, probably about six minutes or so. And then while that's doing, I'll take a little bit more butter. I suggest you go ahead and take the wrappers off your, your butter because, me, it's just no habit that I do. You see how much butter makes put in my fruit. So. Then the next thing I'm going to do, excuse me, Tommy. Just cut up my onion. So, guys, always, 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 when you take out vegetables, anything like that, go ahead and wash them off because you know what it does. It uh, basically, you know, washes off the germs. You know, you don't want your food to contaminate your food. And also, if you have, uh, let's just say, a spring onion, what it does, it accelerates the cells inside the actual onion and gives your food more flavor. Control the proper belief. I've learned that on, uh, I was watching, I guess, Paula D's, and she said that. And um, I always do that, so, but I got two fresh onions from the grocery store yesterday, so, um, but always, I don't care what I'm doing, I'm going to always wash my meat, meats, I mean, just wash it, you know, better be safe than sorry, and then, uh, just like I said, you know, you know if you got a spring onion, whatever, you put it yourself, and then wash with water, you know, Paula Dean says, and not truly believer, that it basically gives you onion flavor. So, what I'm going to do right now, guys, I'm kind of uh, stretching for time here. I'm going to show you guys what I do. It's a boy messes because um, i got to get that church flow in today. Go ahead and cut it into. I guess I should prepare my ingredients prepared, but you know, but anyway. Nobody's perfect, you know. If you're learning how to cook, you know, it takes trial and error. It does. But me, I've been cooking for a long time. I got two beautiful grown daughters and two beautiful grandkids. So as you can see, I'm going to go ahead over here and chop my onions in small pieces. I don't like a lot of onion, but enough to give it some good old flavor. So um, I'm going to chop it up in small pieces, you know, just to give it some flavor. I'm going to move the butter over this way because I'm going to need it again, guys. And chop it up very well. Now, you guys, you see I moved the paper. Then I'll take it, just a little bit of onion, and uh, go ahead and put it in my frankfurters, hot dogs, depending on where you're at, what you call them, and make sure they're in very well. Okay, next thing I'm going to do, put a little milk inside my eggs, guys. Ooh, I learned this in Germany when I was in Würzburg, and uh, my dad, he does it that way too, because uh, he just loves to cook it that way. He puts a little bit of milk in it, and what it does, it makes eggs more fluffier. And this meat is fat-free milk, so depending on what you like, you know, if you're trying to watch your weight, you want to get 2% or even me fat-free milk, you know. But hey, if you like that vitamin D goat milk, hey, go for it. Thank you. The next one I'm going to do is get the cheese, y'all. Cheese is going to make it great, great, great. Great, great, great. So next thing I'm going to do is uh put this away, and I still got... You guys wonder what's going up? Still got my uh, stove on. Simmer. And that's the lowest setting you can possibly get. So it can do what you want it to do. Slowly, while you get your ingredients together. Oh man, China's already in the kitchen, guys. Something cooking up. Don't I know. Cooking up. Ooh, I know, I know. You guys remember that old commercial? Someone is cooking in it with Donna Shore. Hey, I remember growing up on that. That's an 80s baby. But next thing, coming up, I'm gonna take my cheese. Delicious cheese. And guys, this is sharp cheese that I got from the bakery, from the deli. So, you know, to each his own cheese is cheese, whatever kind of cheese you like. You know, you go ahead and do that. And this is gonna be a one hit wonder, guys, because uh, I was gonna cook some rice and all that. Uh, I'm gonna go with something different today. You know. So what I'm gonna do is cut it up in. Uh, I'm gonna say about since we're cooking for four. I mean, excuse me, two. A very small four. Excuse me, four very thin slices if you can. If not, then hey, do what you like. 
and that's I'm just gonna go with three guys because I'm gonna you know mince it into smaller pieces. And I'm gonna show you exactly what's going on in just a minute, guys. You can see exactly what's going on. This smells so great. And then while I'm doing that, I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. Me between medium six and seven, depending on what kind of stove you have. But if you're a fast cooker and you like your eggs poached, you know, whatever you like, do it. But these ingredients right here is what we call a poor man's meal. Not because you're poor, but hey, just because the ingredients you may not have, but you know, this is called something great you can make, you know, with a budget of less than five dollars. And um, it's just something I learned along the way. But next thing we're gonna do, move right along. You're gonna take your, just mix it all up, making sure that the egg yellow is blended real good with the milk. See that? Kind of looking cute there, right? So I want to make sure that this is cooking well. You got enough butter and everything going on. If you don't get it, it's going to be kind of an omelet. So, with that going on, we just spray that in there. Wow, buddy. And if you want to at this point, add more onions to give it a little bit more flavor. Some people like to put green peppers, you know, whatever you like, your meat, whatever. But this is what I'm doing for me because, you know, I don't eat too much meat, but I will be some hot dogs. And, uh, turn it up a little bit. Now I'll let you guys see what's going on. Wanted to get that bubbly going on. Gotta get the bubbly going on. 